Y'all have been made promises that the pension trustees cannot pay to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars. Hundreds of billions of dollars. So my question is, what in this legislation will get at restricting making unrealistic promises? Is there anything in this bill that will do that? Not, not with respect. Uh, the, the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, will it require them to put risk-based premiums on these plans so that they can pay these good people? It, I it think the not, answer is no. It does not change PBG. It does not change. Thank to say that we're rehabilitating this program is misleading to me because it suggests that there was a healthy condition prior to where we are today. This thing was broken at its core from the outset. The, the amendment would require the sponsor of the plan to purchase an insurance that would fully guarantee the loan. So if we don't want this to be a bailout and we want the loan and believe that it is good policy to have the loan repaid over time, then let's make sure that it's repaid by simply asking or requiring rather that the plan purchase this guarantee. I think it's straightforward. I think it will make this uh, a much more responsible solution. I don't think there's a person up here who doesn't want to solve the immediate problem of the shortfall from the benefits that were promised to you by the trustees the employer representatives and your union representatives. They failed to deliver on the promises they made to you. And are they being held accountable? Are they being held responsible? The trustees failed to deliver. They had a job and they failed. And we're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars now. What I'd like to hear is excitement and applause to protect our children and grandchildren. From, from, from irresponsible behavior of policymakers, from the lack of political courage, from mismanagement of, of, of folks, management and, and, and union folks alike, and getting at the core problem.